For this project, you'll need a dot matrix display and an ESP Wi-Fi module. The display module has five pins that we will need to connect to the Wi-Fi module. Cut five pieces of wire to length and strip the ends. Tin the ends of the strip wires and tin the pins of the display module with solder. Solder each of the five wires to the display module pins. These wires are now connected to the VCC, ground, digital in, CS and CLK terminals. On the ESP board, solder the VCC wire to the 3 volt terminal, ground wire to the ground terminal, the digital pin to D8, the CS pin to D7 and the CLK pin to D6 to complete the wiring. Next I have designed and 3D printed a case to fit the completed module and display. On the back of the case insert M3 nuts in all four corners. Pass a USB cable through the back of the case and plug it into the ESP module. Then place the module into the case. Next place the display into the case inserting the wired pin side first. Carefully remove the plastic protective covering from the display module. Make a perspex cover to finish the case and hold the module in place. Secure the front cover with four M3 bolts and tighten to complete the finished case. Plug the display into a USB port to upload the program. Download the Arduino software from the site and install the application. The ESP8266 board manager is not included with the Arduino software. We will need to add this from the GitHub ESP8266 page. Copy the provided additional board manager URL. Open the Arduino software and select File, then Preferences. In the additional boards manager, paste the copied URL and click OK. Next click on Tools, then Boards and select the board manager. In the search bar, type ESP8266 and click on the result. Then click on Install. The newly added boards will now be displayed in the Boards menu. Next open the Subscriber Counter Sketch. In the Tools menu, select the board and scroll down and select the Wemos D1 Mini. In the sketch we will need to adjust the configuration. Scroll down and enter the name of your SSID Wi-Fi network. Below that enter your password for your network. In the next section add the YouTube channel that the data will be retrieved from. Open a YouTube channel and copy the last section of the URL. Then paste this into the sketch. The sketch is now configured and ready to be uploaded to the board. Check the Wemos D1 and COM port is correct in the lower right hand corner, then click on Verify and click on Upload to complete. The device will automatically connect to the Wi-Fi network and then display the YouTube data.